Hi, this is Patrick from Not Made in China. Right now we're going to work on a cup. Um, we're going to start off with something that is mostly taller than it is wide. And we're going to really try and get the walls as thin as we can while keeping that structure. Okay, we're ready to get started. As always, we're going to keep that left arm attached to the left leg. And we're going to start by placing the knuckle part of our thumb directly over the top. And with the other thumb, pressing right over the top of that one. Okay, we're just going to make a nice indention. Once we've done that, we're going to take some of this clay off our hands, put it right in the center. And we're going to go to the nice, strong, bent thumb. Okay? We're going to put that directly in the center hole we just created. And we're going to, with the other thumb, press directly over the top until about the thumbnail disappears. Okay? Once again, let's take some of that clay off, put it right into the middle. This time we're going to be leading with the middle part of our, or this inside part of our middle thumb along the left wall, pressing straight down in the center until we get to about a half inch from the wheel head. Okay, feel free to stop slowly, gradually release that pressure, and take a look at how far you've gone down. You don't want to overshoot it or undershoot it. Okay. Now, left hand steady, we're going to fold that thumb over the top, slow down the wheel just a little bit. And along that base we just created, we're going to squeeze towards our palm, keeping that left hand nice and steady, because if we do that, the clay has nowhere to go, and then it's forced upward. Okay, one more time, just to really make sure that I glided along the base, made some nice vertical walls. Okay, so on this one I'm going to be doing a pot belly base just so you can start to see all the different types of shapes you can create. And I can go through a couple shapes before I finally get to this pot belly shape. Okay, just like before we're going to switch to now slower wheel and the fingers on the outside because they are much more dense and they are much more pressure sensitive. Okay, just like before, take some clay off, put it on this inside corner now. We're going to make a pivoting motion with the wrist to add just a minute amount of pressure. Once we gradually add that pressure, we're going to distribute it across the clay body at the same speed, same pressure all the way to the top and when we get to the top we're going to go ahead and slowly release that pressure okay now if your cup starts to come out in the center or the top and start turning into a bowl we want to go ahead and have make a nice little triangle here with our hands and we're just going to pull back towards our own face very slightly very slowly and if you need to do it again, just start at the bottom and pull back very gently. Keep those walls nice and vertical. Okay, same thing. Some clay at the bottom. I think I can get some more height off of this, so I'm going to go ahead and try. Can't blame you. Same thing, pivot with the wrist ever so slightly. Make about a half a millimeter indention this time. Hold that pressure, fingers interacting on either side of the clay, gradually, at a constant speed, apply that pressure across the entire cup, and slowly release when you get to the top. Okay, so now you can already see that this very well could be called a cup. We are going for a pop belly cup. I'm going to go ahead, grab my tool here. And starting at the top, I'm going to widen out the piece and apply that pressure all the way to the bottom, lingering very casually there at the base and really condensing my base down there at the bottom, going back and forth from the center to the outside. Then, sorry about the habit of my left hand, you only want to be using the right hand with this. Then 
going to go ahead and widen it out and linger there at the top. Okay, so now you're starting to see another type of shape. And just to really make it apparent, I'm going to go ahead and smooth out this little pop belly I started. Smooth out this wall. And then go ahead and bring out the top just a little bit more. You get more tapered cup shape. Which then you can really perfect by just following along the outside and pulling it into it. Really allowing that tool to make the shape of your cup for you. Okay? But we're going for a pot belly cup, so I'm going to go ahead and start down here at the base. I'm going to widen out. I'm going to pivot my wrist over and really add some pressure and allow that clay just to come outward. But I'm going to stop about three quarters of the way up. And continue on the outside, really bringing in this clay here at the top so I can have a nice chubby cup. Okay, now this is pretty good, but I would rather have it more enclosed on the top so that I can hold heat just a little bit better. I'm going to do that just by adding a little bit of pressure all the way around here and just slowly pushing forward. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time, a little bit lower, to really have it come in for this neck. Then I'm going to come back up and bring it out just a little bit further. Finally, I take a sponge, and go ahead and really smooth off that rim just by allowing the sponge to glide placing down pressure on either side of that rim. Alright, differentiate the clay from the wheel head, clean off the wheel head, and you're done. Okay, so now we're going to take this piece off. We're going to start by wrapping this wire tool around our hand, really having some tension, bringing that all the way flat against the wheel head, directly back towards you. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit of water so that we can pull that water underneath the piece to start hydroplaning. So that we can then transfer it from one surface onto another, but that is not the fate of this piece.